Hey YouTube, welcome back to uh, another beer review uh, with me Peter, the Master of Puppets. Today's beer is going to be a beer I've talked again, I've talked a lot about. It's probably one of my favorite old ales. It is the um, George Gale's Prize Old Ale. The thing about this, it's, it's uh, now brewed at uh, the Fuller's Brewery in Chiswick. And, but this one here is uh, one of the original ones uh, from the last batch uh, from the Gales Brewery. Uh, this is from 2005, which was the last batch. And on here on the label, that's a Gales Brewery. I do still, I'm still able to get a lot of these, and it's due to expire December this year. So this is uh, around now. You need to drink it. The difference between uh, this and the the Fuller's version is that the Fuller's version is in a half a litre bottle and it's with a cap. But I don't think there's really any tweaks and stuff. Uh, things changed with the beer, I'm not sure. But it's definitely one of the best old ales I've had. The best it's, I've had is for also from Gales, it's the Trafalgar 200. But the brewery doesn't exist anymore, it's been purchased by. Um, Fullers, but it says here, Gale's Prize Old Ale. Prize Old Ale is brewed, bottled, and corked, not corked and labeled in the brewery Horn Dean. In the brewery in Horn Dean. The rich, full bodied, and distinctive flavors derive from a subtle blend of finest English malt and hops. After carefully tending in our traditional open wood vats, the taste is further enhanced by ex by extended maturation, hence the term old ale. Prize old ale impro improves with keeping and should be stored on its side between 50 degrees Celsius and no, between 50 and 60 degrees <laughs> Fahrenheit. Uh, to enjoy prize old ale at its best, uh, uh, stand the bottle at room temperature some hours before opening to allow the yeast to settle, then carefully withdraw the cork and pour slowly retaining the yeast behind the shoulder of the bottle and this one that's exa exactly what I've done it's a 9% alcohol and it's in a 275 milliliter bottle looking forward to this haven't had it for about a year I had it uh, at my actually last time I had it was a year ago at my graduation party let's get it open here it's got uh, some kind of wax on here and then it's corked Let's see if we can pull out the cork now. It is real cork, not that fake plastic stuff. I'm pretty sure that it isn't, ha doesn't have any carbonation anymore. Uh, it's going to be flat. But as far as I recall, the body of the beer was still enough to make it really like big and, and great. It wasn't on the the last flat beer I had, the um, pot bring all the viscosity. But if the body would have been bigger and all, it wouldn't have been such a big problem that it was flat. But as far as I recall, this one is really big. Um, let's pour it into my Fuller's Snifter. But this is a really good old ale. Yeah, didn't get any yeast in here. Yeah, um, like a really muddy looking color. It just clings nicely to the side of the glass. Um, really muddy, muddy brown looking color with some uh, reddish notes and no head. Uh, immediately, I can smell the beer just without putting my nose in it. But it smells a lot like port wine with a lot of like fruitiness uh, and big malts uh, a lot of really caramelly and sweet malts yeah uh, some woody notes as well mm, and a lot of like fruitiness uh, dark fruits maybe even apple as well actually like a tart maybe sour apple Smells really nice. Let's dig in, give it a try, uh, taste. Yeah, that is that is really malty. That is really malty. Um, 
the alcohol is not there uh, as much as I recall and this one is pretty warm <laughs> it, uh, it is at room temperature uh, to get the most out of it um, there's a lot of uh, like rich dark fruit in there with a lot of wood uh, a lot of wood as well uh, if you like tart sour apples were more on the nose they're in the beer as well but it's not, it's not as much. It's also slightly peppery. There's a lot of dark fruit in here as well. Dates and plums. Ah, oh. yeah, this is a one of those um, pretty big beers as well. Pretty um, huge ones. Uh, the body is a full, nice and oily. It completely coats your mouth with a sticky mouth feel, which is really nice. There's no carbonation. It's almost like drinking a spirit, but uh, still not completely like drinking one because the alcohol isn't that much there. There is sli a slightly warming sensation in the throat, but it's not much. But this is a lovely old ale. Uh, this is probably my favorite old ale. Uh, you can definitely taste it's been maturing. It's so smooth, um, and there's a lot, a lot of malts. Uh, the malts have really come forth, uh, and also the wood uh, compared to. The one I had last year, so it's actually soon five years old. This beer, five years of aging. The one last year weren't as woody and malty, and it had a lot of a lot more of uh, apples. But I'd love to try fresh one from Fuller's, um, but I don't get the, those. Uh, I only get the 2005 ones here. But it's really good, and I, I don't know if you can find. Um, the 2005 editions. Uh, I hope you can, but you'll probably be able to find the Fuller's version, uh, which is probably basically the same. But the brewery was, yeah, closed in 2005, bought by Fuller's, and it was residing in Horn Dean, in England. Um, it's been around since 1847, so that's a pretty old brewery. But rating-wise. It's getting an 89. Um, I think I preferred it last year, and wouldn't got, would have probably gotten like a 95 or something if I reviewed it last year instead. But I didn't review back then. But it's still really, really good. And if you like old ales, you'll love this one. It is probably my favorite old ale. Um, so um, it's an 89 for the George Gales Prize Old Ale, the George Gale version, not the new Fuller's one. And uh, check out all my other beer reviews, guys. Comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. And I'm going to say cheers. And I'll see you in the next beer review.